I know who the father is. So are you going to tell us? Next Wednesday. The fireman said it started in the back. It was not the curler. You left it on. Wait a minute. You ain't firing me, are you? With relationships under pressure. If you're not going to bring me what I need, get out. Excuse me? Get out. It only takes one spark to reignite a flame. I really just need to hear your voice. I thought you hated me. Karen, I don't hate you. I love you. Tyler Perry's Sisters, only next Wednesday at 9. Hey my lovies, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing amazing. Your girl is here with another Sisters trailer breakdown for season 6. So we're at episode 5, titled Better Safe Than Sorry. Now, before I dive into the video, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified each time I post a video on Fridays. Like, share, tell a friend to come and watch our videos, and definitely leave a comment and tell me your thoughts. So we're going to dive right into it. Now, as you guys have seen, a lot has been going on in season 6 so far, and it stems around Karen and her salon, and Zach and Fatima. It's not really inclusive of the others, like, there are, like, backstories in it, but that's the main focus so far. So... The trailer starts off with Karen saying that um, she knows who the father is. Apparently, she did the invasive paternity tests, um, DNA tests, where you can she can figure out who the father is before she have the baby. So she knows who the father is. And again, it's been dragged for another episode. I hope she tells us next week because, like, I I need to know. At this point, I want to know who the father is. I'm like Andy are you gonna tell us because at this point we need to know we cannot wait an entire season again to find out who the father of this baby is like I'm ready to know like right now and I think it's time for her to start showing what do you guys think tell me in the comments if you think that it's time for Karen to start showing her bump or something but apparently she knows who the father is and I'm guessing she's going to tell the girls hopefully so the trailer moves on to her and Pam having a conversation and Pam is explaining to her that the fireman said that the fire started in the in the back. So it's it wasn't the curlers. However, Pam did leave the curlers on and she must take full responsibility for leaving the curlers on. But is she going to fire Pam? I stand firm on not firing Pam. I understand that people make mistakes and that mistake could have cost her entire shot but in this case it wasn't her but i feel like she and pam have had a relationship and the relationship has developed i know you can't bring friends and family into business but at the end of the day pam has looked out for her like since she's been pregnant ensuring that she eats ensuring that she's getting her rest you know all that good stuff so I think a second chance for Pam is warranted. You guys need to tell Karen to give Pam a second chance. That's just my opinion. Even though everybody was blaming her, like, when they thought that Karen died, it's like, I didn't like the fact that everybody was kind of attacking her to say that it was her fault. I didn't like that. Because it most definitely was not. Karen is grown. Karen should have called for the ambulance before she went into that burning building, whether she saw it was a huge fire or not. From the moment she opened the door and saw the fire, she should have called who the ambulance or the fire truck or who should have it. She should have called before entering that building. So it's her responsibility as well. She ran into that burning building. That's just my opinion, guys. All right, so let's move on. Now, look at Andy finally putting her foot down to Gary. I'm not sure what the conversation is for, but apparently Gary comes over as usual. Even though she says no, he still finds his way over there, trying to convince her some way that he's coming over there. So he's there, and Andy's like, if you're not going to bring me what I want, then you need to leave. And she's definitely kicking him out. She's like, go. Because Gary's like, excuse me, but Andy's not having it. If you're not bringing me what I need, then you need to leave. She's standing firm on her thoughts. You're going to leave. You're going to do what I want. I'm guessing she's at the stage in her life where she's allowed to be a bit, little bit selfish and to think of herself first instead of putting everybody else, especially Gary, in front of her because she's always considering him, her, his feelings and she's always trying to ensure that Gary is is okay and Gary is calm and Gary is not going to sue her Gary is not going to do this 
So I'm I'm happy for you, Andy. It took a long time, it took six seasons, but you're getting there. I'm very proud of you that you're finally standing up to Gary. Like Gary deserves some standing up to. He's been pushing you over for way too long. So I think he deserves some standing up to. Now here we go to where the trailer is mainly focused on and what it's mainly about. Is that making this phone call to Karen to say, oh, I really just wanted to hear your voice. For what? That's my question. Why do you want to hear her voice? You saw her at the salon. You saw that she's still alive. You hugged her plenty of times and embarrassed Fatima. Why are you at home calling this lady because you want to hear her voice? Didn't you hear her voice at the salon when she said that she was okay? Now, you're sending this lady all this mixed feelings when you got a whole fiancé. And then you're going to tell your fiancé that, oh, you're my soulmate. And the skies are not blue without you. But but it, it it's it's apparently blue because you're calling Karen, letting Karen know that you just want to hear her voice. And that you don't hate her, you actually love her. What happened to having love for Karen but not in love with Karen? Hmm? I understand that this is your ex of many years, but you wanting to be that man for Karen, that time has passed through. Like, it, it's gone through the door. The door is closed. You need to close the door and stop opening up because in a few more episodes when Karen comes back and say, oh, I'm in love with Zach again and I want Zach and we're going to try again and whatever. You're the same one that's going to be Karen. It's over. I want Fatima. Fatima is my fiance. And you don't want to get back with her. So why are you opening this door for this lady telling her that you love her? And Fatima is like standing right there. Imagine Fatima. Imagine you walking in on that conversation where your 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 fiance is telling your ex about how I don't hate you, I don't hate you. I love you. Can you imagine how that makes you feel after you've convinced me for so many weeks that I should move in with you because I'm your soulmate and you don't love her. You got love for her because she almost died. It's it's like it's changed. Like. At this point, Fatima needs to go back to her apartment and focus on herself a little bit. She got issues that got issues that he needs to work through. They need to be separated because if they don't, it's going to go real bad. That's my opinion. They need to be separated and then find their way back to each other. Their love is not going to burn up, but they have to take that time apart. Listen, Zach just did way too much for me in that last episode. Like, it, it took me a minute to process everything that happened. <laughs> I'm a Zatima fan. I'm always going to rock for Zatima. I'm always going to root for them to be together. But at this point, they really do need a break. Like, Zach is tripping, yo. Tell me in the comments, guys. Tell me in the comments what you think about this Zach situation or the fact that he's telling Karen that I love you. You telling this lady that you love her. What happened to having love for her, but now you love her? All I know is Fatima is strong because for all that writing that she did for this man, for all the times that she cursed out so many persons for him, for all the times that she she came to his to his rescue and she's she's saying that listen zach is my person and she doesn't want to hear what anybody else has to say because she's writing for zach and he's like no. It's like you're here telling your ex that you love her. I would be pissed. Like I would feel like I wasted so much of my time trying to get you to where you are. And it's like it's the same cycle. It's the same thing that she did for Ian. Right? She, based on the, the information that we got, she did all this for Ian. And she built him up to where she wanted. And then he went back to his ex. So it's like it's just, it's like deja vu for her right now. It's like it's happening all over again. So you know what's going to happen? She's going to build some walls now. And she's not going to want to open up again. Remember there were times where she used to tell him that, Listen, I don't want to open up to you. I don't want to let my guard down and you do me the same thing. That's what she she practically begged him not to do the same thing. And this is what this is what he's doing. The time when she had the conversation with him. Tell him that, listen, I felt small. I felt embarrassed when you were at the supermarket and all the girls were there and all of that stuff. And it's, it's like, this is the same thing you do again after she begged and pleaded for you not to do it. 
and you come back and you do the same thing it's like oh well Fatima is strong Fatima will get over it I mean at some point strong persons break as well so if she leaves you like I, I'm no longer sorry for you like you're making your beds you, you just gotta lie in it from the time you called her Karen all the other stuff you did with your ex with your other ex in Zatima, it's like there is no respect for her and your relationship anymore because of all the things that you're doing. This is just my opinion. I want you to tell me in the comments what you think of this whole situation because if it was me, I would have said, Peace, I'm out, figure it out what you want because obviously you don't want me. Based on your reaction, you don't want me. Or do I need to almost die for you to think that you want me as well? that that's my opinion that's what i would have done all right guys that's it for the trailer breakdown tell me if you enjoyed it in the comments definitely sub to my channel share tell a friend to come and watch our videos i'll see you guys next time hey guys thank you so much for watching that video if you enjoyed it go ahead and subscribe to our channel like share leave a comment and check out all the other videos on our channel thank you guys so much for watching see you next time